Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below this video and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's question. Awesome. So the question is an easy level linked list question, which just asks um, to remove any duplicates that appear in the linked list. So for these types of questions, generally um, a pointer manipulation is a good idea because that can be done in place. So the idea to solve this problem is to um, iterate over this linked list, um, the singly linked list, and what we want to do is if we see a value that matches the previous value, we just want to take this pointer and we want to point it to the next. So that's the whole idea behind this solution. Let's go ahead and start writing the code. Awesome, so to navigate over this singly linked list, um, we are going to create a variable here, cur, and we are just going to point it to the head, which is the first element in the list. So um, we're going to use this navigator to iterate over the list and also change the pointers that we discussed. So, okay, so what we have this, and now what we want to do is check um, while we have a, while cur is not, um, so cur means current, so if the current node is not uh, none, oh, oops, while cur and cur dot next, so we're basically checking that these two are not none, so there's something there, and after we enter the while loop, what we want to do is exactly what we discussed. So we want to check if this value is equal to this value. So we'll check um, if cur dot val is equal to cur dot next dot val. And you can see here the dot val is how you can access the value um, as per the class definition here. Um, okay, so now if they are equal, then what we want to do is we want to change this arrow, this pointer, so this currents next to land over here. And that's how we're going to connect um, that first value to that first value one to the two. So to do this, what we need to say is cur dot next. So cur.next is this pointer here. So this is what we want to move. And we will move it to is equal to cur.next.next. .next. Okay, so next, so cur's next is one, but we don't want this anymore. So we're going to move it to cur.next equals cur.next dot next, which lands us here. So basically, we just created that arrow that I drew earlier. Um, okay, so that's what's going on here, and else, oh, I forgot the next here, so cur.next.next .next is what we want, um, and this is how we move that pointer over, um, else, let's say we're given an input where there's no duplicates, or the duplicates appear later in the list, like one, two, three, three, right? So we still need to move the pointer forward to iterate over the list. So we do that by saying cur equals cur dot next. Okay, so we just say, okay, now go to the next one, right? So we want from here to go to the two if we had a input uh, like this where the duplicate appear later in the list, right? So that's the else. And the last thing we want to do is just return um, the singly linked list. So we'll say return head okay and that looks good um okay i'm gonna give this a run okay awesome accepted yay it works awesome 